Hey, what's going on, guys? Donnie coming to you from the Solid Japan Penguin Star Podcast. Have you done it again? This is another year past. It's 2015, 2016. It's when I kicked this business off, and now we're in 2022, about to head into 2023. All right, so this is December 15th. It's going to be the last day of business, physical business, uh, for any new customers or new orders this year. Wrapping it up early this year, and the reason why, getting right to the point uh, for the guys who are going to watch this video, is I want to u- utilize the rest of this year and try to close for the duration of this year to get their last little bit of jobs I got wrapped up and everything are pretty much terminating everything on roughly the 21st or 23rd and everything so um the biggest thing out there guys again is uh, with the business growing um there's is, is much more faceted multifaceted than I was when I first started naturally as your business uh, should get uh, bigger as you go along uh, now I'm approaching uh, year number seven yeah, you see number seven. It's crazy, man. I can't believe uh, it went by that quick. It just feel like it just feels like I just started this business uh, two years ago. We're in building uh, building number two, and this is going to be uh, number seven. Uh, year number seven coming up and everything. So um, with that, um, this year has been pretty much uh, dominated by my callers right here. So I would just kind of do a recap of the year. So the biggest thing for you guys who haven't seen before, this is my very own callover. Pinko style PSO one TS. I haven't um I haven't um unveiled the other ones. I have N2 coming out, uh, which is pretty much nitrogen filled uh, extra reservoir tank coming up, and uh, development is almost done for that. And also I have air cups coming up, which the development is being done for that. So pretty much just like I started last year, I'm going to start uh, this year with f- uh, further suspension development, more options, and uh, some cool stuff to come up. So um, I got rid of uh, a bunch of cars uh, this year. I've, I've returned to competition and things like that uh, in, in, in uh, little uh, spectrums as far as doing a JIDC Japanese International International Drift uh, Drift Challenge, uh, which seen the car pretty much have the same issues I had all season, which was power steering and everything. So getting with Virgo speed, uh, we're going to get some things sorted out right there to get some electric steer- electro- electronic steering into the S chassis and um, help to develop those and get those in Japan. So again, overall, um, the year has just been, uh, uh, again, as far as competition, plagued with those. Uh, but far as customers um i've pretty much been doing like a couple job like really big jobs and that's pretty much what i wanted to kind of nail on this video and this quick video is uh going forward the business is going to change um again if any business is staying the exact same as they did when they first opened up the first year there's really no progress and also that's for performance shops things like that the different businesses are different i'm not you know cutting hair is cutting hair uh doing XYZ is doing XYZ before performance and when you're offering service to customers for a good good amount of money, um, you want to pretty much put that money is going right back into your business to get more things and you're going to upgrade yourself, upgrade the business and uh, upgrade some processes. Um, uh, fortunately for me, the first two years uh, allowed me to develop my processes to which works for me and that works for me and my business and not really looking for pointers on how to, how to upgrade that because I add on when I need to add on, not by customers uh, asking. Uh, so business, again, I got some stuff, uh, some cool stuff brewing uh, for next year, early next year, first quarter of next year. It's going to be some cool stuff coming up, uh, advancements of the shop. And, uh, yeah, just overall, just growth. Again, um, just keeping everything as positive as possible. Uh, life is difficult. Business is difficult. And in the last four years, it hasn't been easy for anybody out there, myself included. So we've all been through it. We've all we've all dealt with the crap going on and the, and the restrictions and all this crap right there. We've all either made money or we all we've all lost money. So um, just going into the next year again, I'm gonna work throughout the holidays. I don't really do the holiday stuff, uh, but at the same time, I will be. I will. This is a pause on physical. Uh, physical engagement with customers for the rest of this year as well as um orders and things like that because it's slowing down in japan i don't want to order anything and then you know not be at the shop and be able to get the package and blah 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 it's you know it's, it's insurance stuff and i just don't want to deal with that so we're just going to pick pick up january 8th is when i want to resume next year uh, but again this video is pretty much just laying out you know uh a quick uh, synopsis of how the year went. Again, the year was successful. Again, I'm, I'm around. I'm, I'm going to be open next year, so it's successful. Uh, that's pretty much all I got to get to. But again, suspension right here was a big thing. And again, if you guys want to be getting suspension for any type of cars, definitely check out my coilovers. Got a street version I just released uh, last week. And then I have the, again, the N2 versions coming up, and then the air cup versions coming up. So I have four different versions of coilovers uh, for four different people. Uh, so pretty much everybody's going to benefit from it. And, uh, yeah, man, I'm really looking forward to, uh, get, just getting cracking on next year. 
Um, I really kind of dislike the holidays because everybody kind of slows down and everything gets dull, everything gets slow, and I kind of want to go, go, go. And that's my thing from being in the military, uh, being overseas in Iraq and things like that. And um, I just don't like going slow. Uh, so, you know, the guys, I, get, I, I would definitely want to give a shout out to my customers who have uh, uh, exported vehicles to me through the last year and a half. Everything kind of stayed the same. And then like last year, just really got slow. And everybody's been cool. I've kept everybody updated. Nobody's went online and like, you know, said any crazy things. And um, that's one thing I, you know, uh, I, I really appreciate uh, from the customers who utilize my company. Um, and I think it's because I'm transparent. I'm blunt. And I'm, I'm up front. I'm not bullshitting anybody that I get that same respect back from the customers uh, for the most part. I mean, there are some guys I had to get kind of kick out to the side because they felt like I wasn't doing things or doing this. I'm like, dude, uh, you know, for the amount of money you're spending, this guy spent spent over 35k and he's cool as a cu- cucumber and you're spending 300 bucks and you think you own my company and it does th- it doesn't work that way it doesn't matter how much you spend this the respect is the same until there's no respect there and then from that point I got to kick you out man you got to go somewhere else and do your business however you see fit and uh, good luck to you so I mean um, I'm not for everybody and everybody's not for me uh, and that, that's the way it works and everything. And again, just want to keep it real again. This is not no big, you know, ending or whatever. The, the years is coming to an end. We're in December. It's been a quick year, uh, for me. It felt, feels like, and I think, uh, when you, when you're busy and you're, you're, you're in your zone and you're doing your stuff and minding your business, I just think everything just goes fast, man. So again, some cool stuff coming up for the next year. Um, definitely guys, thank you for the support, the shares and likes all this year. I will have to say Lee Alexander, if you're watching this, Lee's like pretty much my number one, uh, liker of all posts, man. So I definitely want to talk to Lee if I can on a podcast and, uh, just catch up with him. Uh, prior Marine, awesome fabricator, awesome drifter, awesome dude and everything. I met Lee back in, uh, 2007 or, uh, 2008 or 2007. Um, I think, I believe, yeah something like that so i think it was um the one of the first um dod drifters of december or something like that so anyway cool man um again guys thank you for tuning in for the, this year on the uh on the uh instagram i've been doing a lot more videos and just pictures and um overall again guys again again i'm just very grateful for those who uh utilize my company i know you got options out there um and we, I have options as well as a consumer. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a business and I'm a consumer as well. So I shop certain places. I don't shop other places. So again, you guys all have options and, um, um, yeah, just cool. And then this note, man, dude, everybody that comes to me is going to benefit directly by helping me grow my business. Again, you help me stay in business. I, I accomplish my goals. Um, I'm able to get a little bit, you know, uh, different deals in different places. And I give those right back to my customers. Cause one thing I tell my guys always, and this will be the last point. I am not a part shop. I do sell parts here and there. I have my, my coilovers, but the coilovers are kind of a purpose built for customers who want to do, uh, suspension stuff. I mean, I market them. If you sell them, if you buy them for me, great. But, um, I'm not like, uh, for example, and this is no dig on them. I'm not FR sports. I'm not in Juku. I'm not uh raw brokerage. I'm not, uh, I'm not a part shop. So, my thing is I'm trying to get you guys the best prices on parts. That way I can install them and make my money from install and tuning. That's what I do. I'm a performance shop. Uh, so parts is not really my thing for the guys who've emailed me to ask me to get little gadgets and gadgets. That's not what I do. There's a, there's a handful of guys in Japan that norm, that, do, that do that for you. And, um, you guys have seen me regress from that. And also you see me add exporting, which exporting was something I didn't do my first three years. I was doing parts. So again, the business, the, the business definitely grows. Um, again, for seven years to be in my second building. And, um, to be honest, I mean, I, if things keep continuing this way in the next three years, I'll probably actually move from this building to an even larger facility. Um, I like this building a lot, but I mean, business, you, you, you gotta, you gotta have spaces required. And, um, yeah, it, it's just a good thing. It's a good, it's a really good thing to be growing and everything. And I, I charge anybody out there. Um, if you're looking to start your own business, uh, get it done again. This set, uh, I just posted a video the other day, eight years ago, I was in a, uh, two bedroom house, uh, no, no wife, no kids, um, no business. And then flash forward seven and a half years, uh, eight years later, you know, I'm here doing what I'm doing, man. So, uh, seven years, eight years seems like a long time, but it's actually a short amount of time and you get a lot of stuff done. If you just focus on what you got to do, take care of what you got to take care of, what you can control and block out all the other BS out there, man. Again, all the other Corona stuff and blah, blah, blah. I've really, uh, really, you know, I ignore that crap and I do what I got to do and I make it happen and work with those in the industry who are looking to make it happen and not looking to use this 
corona crap that's still plaguing in Japan to this day um, as a crutch or a reason to be slow. Um, slower than normal. I mean, things are slow. You can't help some things, but um, if it doesn't require it to be slow, you need to be as fast as possible to get it, get the job done, please the customer, and then get money in your pocket to continue on with doing what you want to do and, uh, you know, and co- accomplish your goals. So, again, guys, thank you for 2022. Uh, this is going to be Danny Sano from Asawa Japan Penguin Style uh, Garage Podcast Studio. We'll see you guys in 2023. Peace.